Hello YouTube. Many of you might know me as the Big Beard Trader on Discord. Um, here to do a quick little uh, review setup video for the IoT off grid enclosure. Let's get into it. All right. So this kit comes with a great uh, Tel Telex brand enclosure. Um, it's got the locking bolt on it. It's a good thick walled plastic. It's got a good rubber seal. It's got a nice plexiglass back for mounting stuff. Comes with the best uh, TP-Link PoE kit. Comes with great support for your cables on the inside. It comes with four included cable glands. Um, it comes with a custom bracket system for mounting this to a pole and then your antenna to the same bracket. Um, comes with everything you need for the PoE kit. I made a couple shorter Ethernet cables to make this install a little easier. Comes with a key for the enclosure. Oh, it's a great, great product. The one thing I'm not a huge fan of is the quality of the cable glands themselves. Uh, if you take a look, you can see that they just have straight, not beveled blades. And inside of there, there's just a little rubber plug. It doesn't have a very good seal on your cable. Uh, so I would recommend uh, using your own cable plans. But they work fine. I had this outside for two weeks without any issues in uh, good rainy weather. So. One thing I think would be great about this enclosure is that they included one smaller size cable gland for using with your ethernet cable just to give it a more tight seal on the ethernet cable all right let's get into the setup portion of the video um, i like to place my hot spot so that my cable run can come in through the bottom without making any turns so let's do that real quick Okay, once you get your antenna cable in, just cinch down the cable gland. And then I'm going to install my Ethernet cable and the power cable. Now, your kit will come with the right cable for your hotspot, either if it's a USB C or just a regular barrel connector. And that's that PoE kit and stuff hooked up. Now, we got to hook up our Ethernet cable here. I like to place um, temperature and humidity sensors in my enclosures. And I use these Govee brand little humidity sensors. They have a great Bluetooth range. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And then you just put together the bracket around your pole and then around your antenna. And close it up. Lock it up with the key. And you're good to go. It's a great product. 